Hello everyone and thanks for tuning into the Financial Investor Channel. My name is Brent and today we're going to be covering stocks I am buying this week. So every week going forward I am adding brand new capital into the market working to max out my Roth IRA. This week I'm aiming to again add to about three or five positions increasing my yield on costs, decreasing my unit costs for these stocks because I'm going to be buying into stocks that I'm currently down in and then also increasing my future dividend payout. So if you're interested in any of that, hit the subscribe button below. If you do find the video helpful, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, you want to say hello, drop it in the comment section below and I always read and reply to all your guys' comments. And let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, now we're inside the Roth IRA over on M1 Finance. Now, what we're going to be focusing on right now is buying up stocks that currently are negative in the portfolio. Now, I am not worried about the total equity of this portfolio because my money, I am paying a hundred bucks and I'm getting somebody that's gonna be working for me, making me back $3 or $4, and then they're gonna be increasing every year, paying me out from this point into the future and beyond. They're gonna be paying me out those initial same capital, plus they're gonna be increasing per year going forward how much they're gonna be paying me out. So. Uh, right now, we're going to be buying into negative positions in my portfolio because it's going to be lowering my unit on costs of those initial buys. It's going to be increasing my yield on costs, and it's going to be increasing my future dividend payout. Now, currently, we're at $11,310 of equity within the portfolio. So here, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, if, if you head over to holdings, this shows that it's, it's yeah, it shows here that I'm down Two, you can't see it. Let me go ahead and move myself out of the way. I am down 2.31%, but that is not actually the truth here. I have $11,578 of capital working for me. My equity right now is 11310 and of invested capital here that I've actually contributed myself, we have $11,346. So I'm only off by about, what, $30 of initial invested capital versus where I'm currently sitting at and equity of the portfolio. That means I have about $200 of other equity dividends that have been paid out to me working for me. Also, those those uh, the stock that it purchased is paying me out dividends, and then all the dividends that I'm gonna get paid out here in 2019. Currently, I'm looking at an annual income of roughly $400, and as I continue to get paid out more dividends, and those shares, or those that capital buys up more shares, and, it, and I'm gonna be adding more capital every week into this portfolio, those dividends will continue to grow and grow and grow. And by the end of 2019, I should be sitting somewhere within the $460, $500 range of what my 2020 capital will be, my annual income. Okay, so how do I make my decisions as far as what stocks I'm gonna be buying? Well, I have a couple stocks here. I sorted them by when they go ex-dividend and the current buy rating. Buy just means that I'm currently down in the position, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Avi. I'm gonna go ahead and jump down, open up AT&T. That one's showing us down. Caterpillar, I believe we bought some Caterpillar just the other week here. Cisco, that is not one I need right now. I'm actually up in that position right now. General Mills, I'm positive. JP Morgan, I am down currently. Triple M, I'm currently down. We have Apple, that one's been a one here that I've been kind of buying and wanted to buy. Consolidated Edison, Johnson & Johnson here. We have Lockheed Martin and everything else here I'm positive in or it jumps into going ex in here in March. Now, I made a video at the very beginning of January going over stocks I'm buying in January. Those were Tro, uh, T. Rowe, Walgreens, ADP, VFC, and Cisco Corp. I added them in where I had initially made the video and where I would feel pretty good buying them, but right now they've all kind of increased. You can see here all those positions when I made the video have slightly increased their Cisco. I'm hoping it kind of comes down a little bit, but we will see. I may be adding, I want to add those positions to the portfolio, but at the same time, I am currently adding to my positions that I already have, lowering my unit and costs and increasing, you know, the other ones. So uh, taking a look here at Avi. Avi's actually already gone ex-dividend. This is one that went ex-dividend here on the 14th. So just recently it went ex-dividend on Monday. It's gonna be paying me out on the 15th. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that one. AT&T also went ex-dividend here early January on the 9th. So not worth buying into that one. Caterpillar, we bought this one just a week or two ago where it went ex-dividend just here on Friday. And I'm gonna be, I already made those dividends. Those are earned capital. 
So if we look at the M1 Finance portfolio and take a look here at earned capital, we're at $238.30 of earned capital within this portfolio without having to do anything. So Caterpillar, it's already gone X dividend. I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. JP Morgan, JP Morgan went X dividend here on the third, really early this month. So I'm not going to be buying any more of that one. Triple M, uh, Triple M went X dividend. It has not gone X dividend here. So my spreadsheet shows that Triple M goes X dividend sometime in February, but this does not currently show an X dividend up here and it has not announced that they're going to be paying out a dividend. But here, if we look at their previous history for their X dividend, we can see here it paid out two, uh, it went X dividend 215, it went X dividend 215. So I can expect that X dividend, probably with their earnings, they're going to announce that they're going X dividend on around 215 of 2019. And I'm currently down in this position. So Triple M is one I'm going to go ahead and add to my portfolio. Apple is the next one here. Apple, let's see, they don't have an X dividend at the top. But if we check out here towards the bottom, we can see that they don't have anything announced right now. But they normally go X dividend on the 9th of February. 9th of February. So I can expect that Apple will probably go X dividend here on the 9th of February. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one there as well. Consolidated Edison. They have February 12th. They've already announced that they're going to be... Uh, going X dividend here and you know it just shows right here uh, on the 12th of February on the tw on the 13th of February and so on so a little bit of history there I'm going to leave that one there as well Johnson and Johnson February 25th going to go ahead and leave that one and Lockheed Martin Lockheed Martin has not announced that they're going to be going X dividend here soon but we can see here down towards the bottom and look at their history that Lockheed Martin normally goes X dividend towards the end of February. So February 27th, February 28th. So that's another one here. So right now we have five stocks that we have selected. We have Triple M, Apple, Edison, uh, Consolidated Edison, Johnson & Johnson, and Lockheed Martin. So those are my five stocks I am going to be buying right now. Now of new capital, I add $115.38 every week. Plus I have that one cent there sitting on the side. So I am going to be adding $115.39 into five stocks. So that is $23.07 between each one of these stocks. So all I have to do here is head down, look for Triple M. Triple M is right, I just saw it, right here, 3.3 actual equity right now of my target 5%. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and buy and I'm gonna be buying $23.07 of this specific stock. Go ahead and continue and confirm. And I'm gonna go ahead and also continue to buy Apple. So back to my portfolio there, look for Apple. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the name here. That should bring all my, you know, bring it alphabetically. Okay, buy and 2307, continue and confirm. Now we have Consolidated Edison. Go back to my portfolio. It's already still in alphabetical order. So Consolidated Edison, going to go ahead and buy $23.07 and continue and confirm. And now we only have two more left. We have Johnson & Johnson. So I'm going to go ahead and look for Johnson & Johnson here, J&J. &J. Select it and buy. $23.07. Okay, so we've made four purchases with $23.07. So we're at $92.28 and we just need to make our last buy here at 115.38 plus 01 minus. I just want to make sure that I get the math right on these because sometimes if you don't include it to a penny, so our last one here is Lockheed Martin, ticker symbol LMT. We are going to be buying this one, but instead of 2307, we're going to go 2311. And this is going to make our total available orders. Continue there and confirm. So that should be everything that we're going to be buying. Now, this is going to show here, where is it? Go back to our pending. It should show pending down here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. 
Normally it would show that there's some pending sales right now. That's not showing right now. And yeah, it's not going to show. But on Monday, we're going to be buying back $23. 15.39 divided by 5. 23 dollars and seven cents of every single stock besides lockheed martin we're going to be buying back 23 dollars and 11 cents of that one so just so i can get rid of the extra cash you know the change if you don't specifically put it to a penny of how much you're actually investing sometimes you'll leave you'll have like a penny or two pennies left in your portfolio and i i'd rather just have everything invested you know next monday i'll have more capital going in so no big deal there so i'm going to be increasing my yield on costs and my future dividend payout, but also decreasing my initial unit cost for all five of these stocks, Triple M, Apple, Consolidated Edison, Johnson & Johnson, and Lockheed Martin. So anyways, that is the whole video there. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. If you have any comments, questions, going over any of the stocks that we made and bought in this video, drop it in the comment section below. Are you guys doing this whole same process? where you have a pretty large portfolio that you have some negative in your portfolio and you're adding your positions that you're negative in, decreasing your unit costs, increasing your yield on costs and increasing your future dividend payout. Let me know in the comment section below, what are you guys doing and buying up this week? So thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.